Hello, Sydney. Whoa, that was a great ghost face. Hey, everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. Thanks for stopping by. If you like the video, feel free to smash that. Feel free to stab that like button. And if uh, you're new to the channel, look, if you hit subscribe, you know, we'll play some games. What's your favorite scary movie? Look, I finally saw Scream 6. It was a long time coming. I am a massive fan of the Scream franchise. Scream 2, oddly enough, is one of my favorite movies of all time. I absolutely love it. Scream 1 is just a classic. I love 3. I love 4. But I gotta be honest with you, I was very underwhelmed and disappointed with 5. I felt like 5 understood a lot about the Scream franchise, but misunderstood quite a bit of it as well. I saw the trailers for Scream 6. I heard, you know, the rumblings that it was a good movie, and I was very much excited to see what they had in store. And I am I got it. First of all, I gotta let you know that I'm not a movie reviewer. I am a movie watcher, and I watch movies that I like, and I will review movies that I like, because I want to tell you that I like them, and I very much enjoyed Scream 6. It, it was a nice surprising twist to me now look it wasn't perfect in any way there were a few groans for me as it went along a few things that i wish they kind of played out a little bit different so i will go into spoilers right now chad should have died they dewey him at the end i just don't i think the thing with dewey though is dewey earned it right the first movie dewey died but test screenings everybody wanted dewey back so they, they let him live and then the second one he obviously kind of died again and they did the same thing and this one with chad but i don't think the chad character has earned it i don't think i know he people like the chad character but i don't think he has a he is as beloved as dewey was especially not in the 90s it, it just kind of felt a little bit off i didn't really mind his sister surviving i thought she was by the way i thought she was fantastic fantastic in her franchise speech she gives this franchise speech and part of that speech is used as a post credit scene in which she says not every movie needs a post credit i thought that was phenomenal as well for the most part though it is a lot of fun to get back in the world of scream ghostface doing the killing this time in new york college party i heard that's where the scream 2 connections kind of ended but it actually goes a lot deeper scream 2 was obviously billy's mom and and the psycho mickey who's my favorite go face, ghost face psycho mickey in college this movie while it was going on they kind of started talking about sam and tara's mom and i was kind of hesitant and curious like are they gonna bring her into the fold but who could she be i don't know who like she hasn't been in it then you start to wonder okay it's got to be Dermot Mulroney as it goes on. And then, so what they've done is they made Dermot Mulroney's, Mulroney's character the father of the killer from Scream 5. And then it's the two siblings, or his two children, are murdering with him. And I thought it worked out. I think the one problem with the Scream movies is that there always has to be the twist at the end of who the killer is, right? And it's not always going to make complete sense. Kind of did. There's some logistic things with him being a cop being put on this case that might not make so much sense but maybe they do maybe there's more to it than they told us there's a few incidents that i'm not quite sure of but but again it kind of worked out they go heavy on sam and billy towards the end billy being her father towards the end which i thought worked out uh pretty well in this one it was obviously built up in the first one which i thought was okay but this one i felt like it was paying off a lot more i really enjoyed it ghostface got some really cool kills in this one which isn't really I don't know if that's really why I watch the Scream movies. The one thing with Scream movies, it always felt like they were teen movies that just happened to be like in a horror movie. And that's why they were so self-aware of what horror was because they're like, we shouldn't really be in the genre. And this movie, these both of five and six don't really have that. This one, they know they're in a franchise now. That only plays a minor role in it. It's more like the obsession with Stab. This one has one of the best opening scenes of the franchise by far. At first, I thought it was terrible. I was like, oh, this is kind of lame. And then something happened. He pulls off his, the killer pulls off the mask to reveal himself. So I was like, well, this is even weirder. At first, you're like, where is this going? And they're like, oh we're going to have a ghost face wannabe get killed by an actual ghost face so i thought that was pretty unique it's a good twist look they keep coming up with new ways to make the opening scene more and more engaging which you're like it should just be a shock value but they're not they're they're making a character pieces now which was nice to see leading into scream 7 it doesn't really lead into scream 7 if they want to end it they could i will say this though I didn't miss Sydney. I thought I would, and I do uh, wish that they would have paid Nev Campbell. Obviously, I think she deserved it for being in all these movies. That being said, there's a, a mention that she deserves her happy ending, and she took her kids somewhere and hid. I was fine with that. I was like, let's move on from Sydney, I, because at some point you're going to have to anyway. Obviously, you moved on from Dewey. Uh, didn't quite move on from Gail in this one. Maybe you did though. Maybe this is how you get Gail out of these movies because she's like, I'm done following uh, Ghostface. She wasn't missed. I, uh, but at the same time, I'm glad they put that in because that's why she wasn't missed. Cause I'm like, okay, you did, you did well there. You, 
you put her away in a place that she should be. But look, I love the Scream franchise. I thought this was a great entry point to the franchise. Uh, I look forward to see where it goes from here, to be honest with you. I'm not sure how you keep going. I mean, I mean, I have a few ideas if you want to call me. Uh, but I really liked it. Let me know if you guys like Scream 6 in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, what's your favorite scary movie? Showgirls, absolutely frightening.